All right, my camera's a little fuzzy. There we go, focus. Anyways, you might be able to hear that, that engine running. I'm um, working on the, uh, um, I can't remember, uh, Dynamark, there you go. The Dynamark, um, the red lawnmower. Um, it's running right now, it's been running for about a half an hour. I go shut it off now. Um, I actually I've been letting it run sit here and run because I'm going to flush I've been flushing the engine uh, for the customer yep it's dirty um, he really doesn't change his oil very much and I want this thing to last for him you know I, <laughs> ugh, I'm the tire flat again oh, I feel kind of <laughs> this might sound strange but I kind of feel bad for the equipment when they're neglected you know what I mean they the oil doesn't get changed or this or that and you know it just kind of feel bad for for the equipment sometimes you know I, I'll charge them for it I'll charge them for having to flush the engine um, yeah tires flat um, I'll, I'll charge them for it but you know I just want to want to make sure this thing runs good um, I just flush it with cheap, cheap oil, not cheap cheap, but just cheap oil. I get it. I can't remember how much I pay for it. Um, and sometimes I'll put it in customer stuff to, you know, for oil change. I'll ask them, you want really good oil or do you want cheap oil in it? And I'll say, it doesn't matter to me, just whatever. So I usually put the cheap stuff in and charge them for the cheap stuff. Um, but the cheap stuff's fine, it's, it's not going to hurt the engine. Um, but I usually flush the engine with the cheap stuff, that's the best way to go because you don't want to put really, really, really expensive oil in it and then have it flushed out. <laughs> it's smoking. I don't think it's been heated up that hot for a long time. Um, so we're going to empty this oil out before it cools down too fast. And uh, we're, we're going to put some... Uh, Quaker State in it. Quaker State's full synthetic oil in it. Um, honestly, I don't like Quaker State. It is definitely not my favorite. I hate it. The only reason why I have it is because my mom got the wrong brand. So, uh, this is the last stuff we put in our Subaru, and it just doesn't sound good in the mornings. You start it up, and you can hear the valves knocking. Um, you never hear that with any uh, any other oil company, and you put Quaker State in it. It, uh, I just just don't like them. <laughs> I put all the Quaker State in this bottle here. Um, that's actually the cheap stuff that I get. 10W30, certified, performance engineered. Uh, it's tur turbo um, approved. Approved for use in turbocharged engines. It's not bad stuff, you know. Now, anything cheaper than that I wouldn't use, like gas station um, oil. Yeah, no. I wouldn't use it. Um, so yeah, let me go change that oil, and I'll see you in a little bit, YouTube.